the nations of the world, Korea alone, up to now, is the sole one which has risked its all against communism. The magnificence of the courage and fortitude of the Korean people defies description. They that was General of the Army Douglas MacArthur addressing Congress a few days after he had been removed from his command by President Harry Truman. Seems like current news, field commander of U.S. troops, oversteps his bounds and is relieved of his command by the commander-in-chief. It was 60 years ago last week that troops of North Korea in the dark of the night crossed the 38th parallel, invading the Republic of South Korea. It was a surprise attack catching the few U.S. troops in South Korea off guard. General Douglas MacArthur was commander of U.S. forces in the Far East. By March 1951, Oklahoma's 45th Infantry Division was mobilized for duty in the Far East. The 45th Division was involved in a number of battles in the Korean War, including Pork Chop Hill, among others, finally returning home in 1952 and 53. In April 1951, Truman relieved MacArthur of his command for the first time in 15 years since 1937, MacArthur and his family set foot on American soil. Days after their return to the U.S., MacArthur was invited to speak before Congress and closed with this famous line. That old soldiers never die. They just fade away. And like the old soldier of that ballad, I now close my military career and just fade away. An old soldier who tried to do his duty as God gave him the light to see that duty. Goodbye.